Joining us now here on the MMA Report is a man's going to be looking to become a two-time champion in United uh, Unified MMA. Coming up on Friday night, Unified MMA 28 in Edmonton, Perez Gulmik. Perez, uh, as always, man, I appreciate the time. It has been some time since you, you've been in the cage, December of last year. Uh, what has been? I know you were supposed to fight in March. Unfortunately, that, that fight didn't take place. But uh, what has been going on with you? Um, just to, a lot of injuries, right? Like I got, uh, I tear my uh, hamstring and, uh, I had to take some time off, you know, heal and just get better, you know, like, um, work on my, you know, the gaps in my game, you know, fill them up, you know, get better and grow as a fighter for sure. Is that really the, just the, the crappiest time as a fighter is when you have an injury that that's keeping you on the sidelines and I imagine with a hamstring injury, that really limits what you can even do. You know, guys will say, hey, if I, I've got a broken hand, I can I can throw leg kicks. But with a hamstring injury, were you even able to really uh, you know, work on anything else? Um, mostly on my, um, like, you know, the, the scale said, you know, when I was there every day at the gym, like trying to listen to coaches, you know, see what's going on, visualizing, you know, like trying to work, like work really easy. Like, you know, the first couple of weeks I had to take off. I had to, like, you know heal a little bit then i got back i started you know like trying to you know like uh, what to call drill more more than like you know trying going hard or sparring so yeah i got better you know like i got better in some areas because of the hamstring so i got thank you you know like it is what it is i'm just trying to be positive you know it had to happen it happened did it allow you to look at the game maybe differently because of you know maybe from a, a, a mental side and maybe seeing what your coaches do with other fighters and maybe it gave you maybe a better appreciation of what you need to do to accomplish your goals? 100%. Uh, that that really, like, you know, that's what I was going to say, but you put it together better than me, you know? Um, um, yeah, like, you know, a lot of my coaches, like, focusing on fight, and a lot of my friends, teammates, were getting ready for the fight. So I kind of, like, you know, I, I stay still stayed in the, the fight zone, you know, fight game. Um, then I had to, you know, like I went to back home after seven years, which was really uh, refreshing, you know, seeing all the friends, the old faces. That was amazing. Well, yeah. What was that like for you? I mean, was it just was it something to go back home and maybe just get your mind all off the fight game? Um, I went there and I trained with the Olympic team, actually, Olympic boxing team. Mm-hmm. And, you know, like I got some uh, rounds with the Olympic wrestling team. They're all my friends. And uh, we were number one Olympic boxing this year. So, yeah. We got we have some bad 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 guys in the in the boxing for sure. Yeah, I got a lot. I like, I still train there, but um, you know I'm a fighter. I I like to train and I always like to be in the gym. That's what I do. How, how do you you know guys always talk about listening to your body? You know, and when you need to take a day off, you take a day off. For you, how how do you how do you work that in? I mean, obviously you want to get the work in that you need to get in to for, get ready for a fight. But how do you make sure you're you're listening to your body, so you are going to be uh, in peak performance on fight night. Yeah, um, uh, the day off is a part of a training, right? Like you need to, like you said, rest is really important. Like you need to listen to your body. Like sometimes I don't feel tired. I don't feel like you know I'm, I should take a day off. Then I keep working. Like if you really listen to like you know great fighters like you know Hicks and Gracie, like you know um, a lot of like you know old school fighters. Mm-hmm. They, they tell you to take day off when you're really, really sore and tired. Like, some weeks, like, I didn't take day off. Like, I'm like, I can work through this, you know? Like, I don't know. Um, I, I feel good. When I, when I feel tired, I definitely I take day off. I sleep a lot, drink a lot of water, you know? Like, I re- definitely rest. But sometimes I don't really feel tired, so I, I keep going. As we're talking here, we're just a couple of days out from, from your fight. So, so what is fight week like for you? Um, amazing man like you know a little bit more till i eat till i i can eat burger you know with the new belt so it will feel amazing you know i'm I'm really pumped for that well this you know with winning the title for a second time do you think it'll feel different than the first time or you know maybe is it is it just a totally different feeling it, it's definitely going to be totally different feeling you know like because uh first i'm going to be beating up a guy like he's a veteran 28 fights you know it's, um, it's obviously no joke. Even the first guy I beat for the title wasn't no joke, you know. But uh, it's definitely going to feel different, you know, like the hearing of it. And now, two times federal champion, it's going to feel amazing.
Yeah, and it'd be the first, the first fighter in unified uh, history to, to pull that off. No one else has done that to this point. In featherweight, yes, but heavyweight, Tanner, my boy Tanner did it. He's a pretty cool cat. Yeah, he's a, he's a good cat. He did it, actually, but in featherweight, definitely I would be the first one. In, in terms of, of your opponent here, Kurt, what is what does he offer that you go, I've got to be looking out for this on fight night. I know he's coming out with this. Yeah. Um, to be honest, I'm, I really feel I'm better than him in everywhere. The only thing he has more is more cage time, like mm-hmm. experience, I would say, um, which I respect, you know, like that in fight, there's no, I'm not going to show any respect in the fight, you know, like I, I'm, I fight him, you know, like the way I fight everyone else, like, you know, definitely he has more experience than I am in the cage you know but uh i i got a load of boxing and kickboxing fights so ooh, that makes it even is it one of those things that if you show your opponent way too much respect it, it can hurt you yeah um when it's when, yeah that's that's not good like you know you go you go out there and you fight like this is my hometown you know like i gotta beat this guy i gotta get that title back I'm the featherweight of this city, you know. Like Edmonton is my city. I'm the best featherweight in Edmonton. I gotta go out there and prove it, you know. Do you feel? Any, it. Do you feel any additional pressure fighting in Edmonton? Or no, do, you, actually, do you love it? Yep. I love it. I love it. I love the crowd. You know, um, it's gonna be loud when I come out. You know, it's. I have good following here. Um, a lot of people support me. A lot of my friends. You know, a lot of uh, like a lot of fans. Like, they either love me or hate me, you know? I'm never in between. I'm never liked or disliked. I'm either loved or hated, so but that's, makes me happy. that's got to be a good thing, though, because, you know what, people either want to come see you win or people want to come see you lose. So, I mean, it's like, yeah. they, ultimately, the other day, they're buying tickets. 100%. I'm feeling the seats, you know? So, either way, like you say, they're going to come see me, you know? Like, they're going to clap for me when I win, even when they hate me, you know? What, so. do, what do you see as your key to victory in this fight? Um, my speed, you know, and, um, uh, and like, I, I can definitely outstrike him, out wrestle him, out, out grapple him. I, I, I'm just, I'm just going to be better fighter than him. The fight night come, I'm, I'm ready. Uh, my coach put together an amazing training camp, you know, they made sure like, you know, I'm, I'm in base shape of my life. I, I really, really worked hard for this fight, you know, hopefully like I'm going to get to show you guys like, you know what I'm talking about. Did you change up anything in, in in your training that that has allowed you to feel the way you're feeling right now? Um, a lot of wrestling this this training camp. But actually, since my last fight, I've been wrestling a lot, and obviously, like you know, boxing and kickboxing, my my love, you know, this striking, I always do it, and a lot of jujitsu with my jujitsu coach Andrew Co- Andrew McKinnis. Yeah, I I really, I grew as a fighter. Definitely, I uh, my fight IQ went up. You know, um. I'm a better fighter. Every time I step in the cage, I am better than I was last time, you know? I think life is all about improving. If you're the same person you were five years ago, you just lost five years, like Muhammad Mm -hmm. Ali said, you know? So I I really believe in that. Is there a preferred method how you want to win this fight, or is it it one of those things of, as long as they're putting that belt around my waist, I don't care how the victory comes? Uh, That's true, but I prefer knockout. That's what I'll, I'll be looking for, a knockout, you know, big knockout. That will uh, that will be good because after this fight, I really, really, really want to, you know, fight in UFC, you know. Like, I I want to get the chance. But my focus on Curtis DeMars, uh, Friday, September 30th. After that, we'll talk more. Is it one of those things that of, has your management said something to you of, you know, we really do feel like this win's going to get you there? Or is it just more of uh, you, you're, you're just hoping for it? I emailed Joe Silva and he emailed me back. So That's I, all I can say is that that thing, you know, that I'll, I'll just leave it there. And, and so yeah, I, at least you got a response. I did a response, and which wasn't really bad. So yeah. I am. Uh, we'll talk more, Jason. We'll talk more. <laughs> we will after, talk after more. Of sure. course, uh, this fight coming up on Friday night, Unified MMA. 28 up in Edmonton, of course. Uh, you, you talked about Tanner Bozer, defends a heavyweight title in the main event of the fight card. This is yeah. a co-main event. I really appreciate time, man. Good luck in the fight. And let everyone know where they can follow you on social media. Thank you, Jason, for having me, first of all, you know, again, uh, interviewing me. I always pleasure to talk with you as well. Um, they can find me on Instagram, Parvez underscore BMF uh, on Instagram. Follow me. 
and uh, Twitter, P-Bolt MMA, Facebook, Parvez Golam. I usually don't ask strangers that much, so like, but uh, Instagram, like the my my professional page on Facebook actually, Parvez BMF Golam, like it, and um, yeah, just want to thank all my training partners, Nick Krabic, my boy. We've been training for a long time together. Um, my MMA coach uh, Mitch Clark, Andrew McKinnis, the best, and uh, Roger Alves, uh, Jason, uh, John Mendoza, and all those boys. Cami Ellis helped me out a lot in this fight, and um, Sean Locke held me pads a few times. Shout out for him. All the boys, for sure. Appreciate time. Good luck on Friday night, man. Thank you, thank you, and Lenny Wheeler, Devin Miner, all those boys too. Thank you.